What's going on here now? A little Ace is Dragon Jet. Low Ace and the Jet over the fence again. Go ahead. Come on, get him over the fence. Come on. Ah. Now what's going on here? Low Ace has Jet. Jet is bleeding profusely. Jet going head first into the top of that fence. Now Jet counters with the, a neck snap on Low Ace. Jet going on top of the fence. And a big forearm and a big elbow drop onto Low Ace. Jet must get Low Ace into the ring to make the cover. If he does, he may become the new GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. But Jet's not going for the cover. He has that chair in hand. Damn, the, in, the top of that chair goes for the cover now. One, two, whoa, kick out. That was two. Low Ace just barely got out of it. Reverse backbreaker by Jet. Jet definitely has Low Ace down. It, it appears that that blood really woke up the viciousness in Jet. These two are very close friends, but they can get very... You, you wouldn't know it by that, but can, they can get very vicious with each other in the name of competition. And there is no greater competition than the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship. Low Ace fighting back now, and now a steel chair shot to the head of Jet. Yeah, where yourself at? Where y'all self at? Go ahead. Not even the finals yet. Well... One interesting thing about all these yeah. shots to the head of Jet is that it began with the clinic. Whoa, Ace going for the cover. It began with the clinic hitting Jet in the head with that Intercontinental Championship belt. So Low Ace may actually be smart to, to get those shots to the head if Jet was already disoriented by that belt shot. Whoa, RKO out of nowhere by Jet. Goes for the cover one, two. Two count only. It's, uh, it's very rare that you see anybody kick out of Jet's RKO. Uh, uh, but Lil Ace did it. Lil Ace has been proving himself to be a true champion match after match. Scissors kick by Lil Ace, sending Jet's face right into that steel chair. Head first into that steel chair. Once again, more damage to the head of Jet. Rolls him over, goes to the cover. Two, Jet gets his foot on the ropes. Well, the ref counted three. Rope break. Referee rules that that is a rope break, and the three count does not. The three count does not take effect. This match will continue. Hard right hands from Low Ace from the champ, uh, champion on the Challenger Jet. These two have had so many matches with each other over the years that they've been wrestling. And a big spine buster by Lil Ace. One, two. Both of these men had relatively short quarterfinal matches. Lil Ace defeating Derek Knight in less than five minutes, and Jet getting a, a, a relatively quick DQ victory over the clinic. So, these two do have a lot of energy. Whoa, rolling neck snap, shades of Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning by Jet. Two! And Jet has been known to do that move a lot, but it didn't get the three count that time. Jet goes for the chair now and just throws it at Lil Ace. DDT by Jet. Jet is trying to crawl over and make that cover. No, he's not going for the cover. What's going on here? Jet. Whoa, Jet might be looking for another RKO. Jet. Is definitely well hard to see what happened there. I believe that was another RKO. Goes for the cover. Two. Low well, Ace has. Well, it looked like a three count, but wait, what happened here? Jet is is Jet the new champion? That but the, that was a rope break. Wait a minute, GWA Chairman the Law is here to address this. I don't like both of y'all, but I'm the chairman. I, this belt means a lot to me and it has to be fair. His foot was on the rope, referee. Restart the match, ring serious? the bell. You didn't see the shit? 
Well, Jet, it looked like Jet was the new champion, but Lil Ace's foot was on the ropes, and GWA chairman, the law. Whoa, this was kicked by Lil Ace. Let's recover one, two, three. And now it appears that's it. Here is your winner and the new, excuse me, still the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion, Lil Ace. Well, that was a very confusing situation. It even got our ring announcer confused. But nonetheless, Lil Ace is... We're getting word that definitely Lil Ace is still the official GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. Jet almost had the title won. However, Lil Ace's foot was on the ropes. And Jet walks away victorious with the championship belt. Now Jet, Jet, Lil Ace is coming back to the ring. What's going on here? A little stare down. Well, it looks like these two are still great friends despite the vicious match they had with each other. Definitely an extreme massacre classic between these two. And Lil Ace goes to the finals to defend the title against BK. Extreme Massacre continues next. All right, things are heating up, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, BK advances, Ace advances. The partners are about to collide against each other to determine who will be the GWA champion by the end of the show. But however, I hope Double X is ready because we have a surprise for him. And let's just say, I feel things getting ready to rain. <laughs> 